What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool A-stable multi-vibrator using a 555 timer and a potentiometer. Now this potentiometer plays a crucial role in dictating how fast this thing blinks, so without further ado, let's jump right into this. Alright, so this is actually the same schematic that I used in my LED light blinker circuit that I created in a previous video. Now there are some changes that I made to this. For example, this 22 microfarad capacitor I changed down to 2.2 microfarad. This 10K resistor I knocked down to 1K, and this 1K resistor I turned into a potentiometer. Now, the reason why I did that is so that I can actually vary the speed at which this LED blinks. Now I'm going to go through this and how this works real quick. So your pin 1, that's your ground pin. Now pin 2, that's your trigger pin, and that essentially starts the 555 timer cycle whenever the voltage across this pin is below a third of the supply voltage, which is 9 volts, so it would be below 3 volts. Pin 3 is going to be your output, and I put a resistor here and an LED, and then I grounded it. Pin 4, pin 4 is going to be your reset pin, so you always want to uh, apply a constant voltage to it. Pin 8 is also going to be a power supply pin, so I connected 9 volts to it. And pin 7, that's your discharge pin. So what I did here was uh, I connected the capacitor through a resistor to the discharge pin, and then from the discharge pin I connected it to the power supply so that it can charge the capacitor. Pin 6 is the threshold pin. So this threshold pin is going to uh, monitor the capacitor and determine whenever it reaches two-thirds of the supply voltage, then pin 7 needs to discharge this capacitor. And then the cycle restarts because then the voltage across pin 2 is going to drop below a third of the supply voltage. Now, how the circuit's actually going to work in terms of varying the speed of this is this in incoming current to the capacitor. Now, it dictates how quickly the capacitor is going to be charged. So the higher the resistance, the slower it's going to charge. The lower the resistance, the faster it's going to charge. And same thing with the capacitance. The higher the capacitance, it takes longer for it to charge, whereas the lower the capacitance, the shorter time it takes to charge. And that's basically it. So let's jump right into the parts list and build the circuit. Yeah. <laughs> 